what is up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpio zodiac signs so all right scorpio let's see what messages do you have for my scorpios what's the overall energy that you have for my scorpios let's see here we got discipline what do you have for my scorpios what else do you have for scorpios give me one more overall energy for scorpios and self-esteem okay i possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others yeah self-esteem and discipline so let's see what this is about then or for one you're gonna be feeling yourself i feel like this discipline has something to do with you being strategic as well like making sure you're planning out your day making sure you're doing what you need to be doing if you need to work on that side job, work on that side job. Go for the discipline card. Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. You're definitely in alignment here. And make sure you're having fun as well, Scorpio. Six of Cups and Two of Cups energy. Make sure you take some time out to enjoy yourself. Like tap into that childlike energy to enjoy yourself. Because the Seven of Swords is here. This to me, it, although it's sneaky energy, it's looking more of like strategizing, making a plan. Like, okay, I'm going to spend this amount of money on working on my project or my business or my side job, okay? And I'm going to spend this amount of time on resting, rejuvenating, getting out in, uh, in the world, enjoying the outdoors. Justice, yeah, it's all about balancing out with the justice card. Not, not too much work or too much play, like having it directly in the middle. What about the self-esteem card here? The judgment what about self-esteem and judgment? Oh, yeah, you're starting to feel yourself again. This is good, Scorpio. Judgment and the Empress energy. People are starting to, like, notice you. Like, you're you're going to really be feeling yourself. I see you eating better, drinking better, taking care of your body here. Okay? Some of you are working out more or, like, you're sprucing yourself up, like, doing something to your hair, wearing some clothes, putting some clothes on. You're making the you're also making the decision to like invest in yourself more, not necessarily anybody else. Like you're taking the time out for yourself. And I see something taking off for you here with this eight of wands energy. Fast movement. Like moving forward towards something here. What is this judgment? The Empress. The Ace of Cups. New love. Oh my God. Emperor. Some of you are about to like get into a divine counterpart or divine um relationship with somebody. With this ace of cups energy. Oh, this is new love coming in, y'all. Y'all met like your divine masculine, divine feminine here. And it's after some betrayal at that. You got the nine of swords, five of swords, three of swords, seven of swords, ace of swords. All sword energy. Holy shit. Stress. Like somebody stressing out about how they broke your heart or how they were being sneaky or how they were lying, being deceptive here. It's like their mind is becoming clear. Hmm. Okay. Tell me more. Whoa. A reconciliation? Somebody's wanting to come back for a high level commitment? The Hierophant at the bottom of the deck? Somebody's wanting to come back and reconcile? This could be someone from the past or someone from your past life. It doesn't have to necessarily be this lifetime. But I see somebody wanting to come in. They have a guard up, though. They're a little nervous, but they actually want to make the decision to move towards the future with you here. It's like they just have to make sure. Yeah, they just have to make sure they can trust you. See, they want to offer you something. They want to start off as friends and then grow into something more serious. What I see with this energy. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, Two of Wands energy, Nine of Wands, and the King of Wands energy. So you got all air energy at that one point. Now you got uh, fire sign energy. So air energy is cancer, not cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the fire is Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you could be dealing with the cancer since I almost said it if you, <laughs> if you want to say. But I see you moving towards like a good friendship, somebody that's going to offer friendship, somebody that's going to like, this is like you're elevating, right? And you're to the next level and you meet this person, they start to show you the ropes. Okay, of this next level. And I see you two growing something very stable that can actually turn into high level commitment here with this hierophant. It's like divinely guided. 
It's beautiful. It's divinely guided here. All right. Let's see. What other messages want to come out? I guess this is coming out as love. So let's see what love messages do you have for Scorpio. But I'm seeing. I want to pull more for this discipline energy though. Let's see how many minutes five. Let's do money messages. Okay, tell me more about this discipline energy here for Scorpios. Clarify more for this discipline energy. You got to reconsider a decision, counselor. Tell me more about this discipline energy. Easy does it. Okay, so somebody, you're leveling up here. Look, work smart energy. Oh, and luck being on your side here. Y'all, there's going to be an opportunity to come up where... You're going to get to meet someone that's going to be very important in your life. That's going to help you be disciplined to make it to the next level. Okay. But you have to be willing to uh, meet with this person or go to the seminar or go to this, um, this meeting. Okay. Or it's like you're meeting with somebody and you may tell them like, I'm having this kind of trouble in my work life or I'm having this kind of trouble getting my business off the ground. And you may speak with them and they actually drop some gems that's going to make work so much easier for you with this easy does it it's going to make work way easier for you like you're going to get a gem dropped to you to really get you to the next level with this reconsider decision you may think about not going because you're like oh i really don't feel like it but it's important for you to go because you're meeting somebody that's important on your course where you're trying to get to to the next level like you're going to run like it, it could be like one of those like maybe you find a flyer or something like that and you see the flyer and it's like, hey, business seminar or yada, yada, yada seminar. And you go to it, you're going to learn something that's going to really like advance your your success, advance your abundance. And sorry about that, y'all. There's kids outside. My bad. But please do it because it's going to show you an easier way to work like this. It's going to be a lucky break for you. The luck and the work smart card. You're going to get dropped a lot of knowledge at this given time. I wonder what it is. <laughs> All right. Any other message for my Scorpios? Any other messages for my Scorpios? Okay. Look, birth. Universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility. And you got the luck card underneath that. Y'all, come on now. You are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. You're about to give birth to something new, and it's going to explode. It's going to be beautiful. Thorns, weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. So there's like, you still got levels to get through, Scorpio. But the thing is, you're almost there. You're almost there. You just got a couple more thorns to get through, whether this is like people trying to block you, people trying to hold you back from your success, all of that good stuff. You, you just got to get through it. It could be people saying negative things. You know, like, oh, you're crazy, you shouldn't do that. Or, oh, you're stupid, you shouldn't do that. Or that idea is stupid. It could be anything, but you're going to run into it. Sorry about that. You're going to run into the right person that gives you the right knowledge that you need. That's going to really advance you to this next level here. Okay? So this is what I have for you on this video here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.